The latest tournament to take center stage on the ATP World Tour is the Antalya Open in Turkey, a stunning location, and top seed Dominic Team and Turkish number one Marcel Ilhan visited the breathtaking Aspendos Amphitheatre ahead of this event. Unbelievable, I mean, I was impressed from the first moment I came here. Didn't, didn't really know that a place like this existing here. And I think it's a very, very nice thing for us players, if you are at the tournament, to, to explore things like this. I mean, it's really, I've, I've rarely seen something like this before. I'm so excited to be here and be proud of this wonderful activity. I think it's an important historical place and everybody should must visit this place. As a top seed or in a tournament where you are the favorite, you always want to win or you want to stay in there as long as possible. But still, I also know that every opponent is very dangerous. Before the on-court battles, there was a chance to relax at the Antalya player party. And for the inside track, we recruited a doubles legend. Hi, I'm Robert Lindstedt. Welcome to the newest edition on the ATP calendar here in Antalya. I'll be your reporter for the evening. And let's go and talk to some players. So what made you choose here to come to Antalya? Well, I mean, I, I didn't play the first week on grass here and I still have to learn a lot on this surface and that's why I chose to come here and I hope that I get many matches before Wimby. Okay, that's not true. He doesn't have to learn a lot on grass. He already knows everything. First, first week last year in Stuttgart he won, so uh, I think you're pretty, pretty good only, at this. This was only luck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I based the whole career on luck, so I know what you're saying, but I don't think it's true with you. <laughs> so here we're with another superstar, Juan Zosa, from uh, Portugal, also known as Ronaldo number two. It's very nice to be here in, uh, in Antalya. It's just a, such a great place to be and tournament. So enjoying the time here and trying to, to, to do a, a good tournament. A huge part of the players savoring this new grass court tournament was the location, with luxury hotel resort Kaya Palazzo Belek providing the perfect setting. It's the main factor actually because all conditions and facilities are very good for tennis because hotel and tennis courts are at the same area and uh, walking from hotel to tennis courts or place lunch takes just three or four minutes and it's a really good condition. It's a very, very nice tournament. It was is it my, my first time here in, in Turkey, in Antalya, but everything is good, uh, everything is close, uh, we have a very good facilities uh, for the tennis players and, and the court are, are in a good condition. Really nice place here, it's a really good organized tournament and I feel really comfortable here and I think all the players as well. One man feeling particularly relaxed in Antalya was Spain's Fernando Vadasco who made the most of the seaside activities. Well, it's always, uh, it's always nice. Uh, I love jet skis and, uh, you know, it was a short, uh, a short ride, but a uh, beautiful place uh, with a good weather. And, uh, you know, I'm not only with the jet ski, in general, it's been really nice. So, uh, you know, I'm enjoying my days here in, uh, in Antalya. A week for everyone to enjoy it but who would have the biggest smile at the end of the Antalya Open? Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, play begins in SW19 and we'll have the very latest. And we talk exclusively to a superstar in the making, Sasha Zverev. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlet and on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.